see you then. Thanks, Juan. Now with an official name and a new look, the community and city officials gathered in celebration of a Torrance Icon's 100th birthday. Shannon Murphy has the story. The rehabilitation project on what is commonly referred to as the Torrance Bridge is complete. And perhaps more importantly, it now has an official new name. It's a Pacific Electric Railway El Prado Bridge it is an icon. It's the biggest icon we have in the city and it was so important to get it back and restore it. And it, uh, it took a long time, a lot of work, many, many people as they said today, but uh, it was something that just had to be done. The naming of the bridge wasn't an easy task for such an important icon. The name was difficult to come up with, and uh, there are a lot of people who have different opinion how we should have named it, and some people thought it should be Torrance Bridge and so forth, but this is a, a true compromise, and uh, I think it made a lot of people happy to name it this, and so here we are. As the bridge turns 100 this year, the new name comes from its rich history here in Torrance. The name of the bridge comes from the original company that built the bridge, uh, the Pacific Electric Railway Company, and before Torrance Boulevard was actually Torrance Boulevard, it was called El Prado. With its new name intact, the Torrance community gathered at Torrance Center South for the naming and celebration of all the work that's been done to it. The rehabilitation was not an easy task as it had to meet strict guidelines for historical preservation. Our involvement was focusing on making sure that the work uh, was consistent with a set of federal standards called the Secretary of the Interior Standards for Rehabilitation. And really our concern was to make sure that the character of the bridge was preserved while addressing areas that needed work, like the cracks and spalls, and removing the vines that were trapping moisture against the bridge and causing further deterioration. While some miss the look of the vines, they are quite pleased with the outcome of the project. It looks very nice. Um, I do miss the ivy a little bit. Uh, it kind of gave it that homey feel, but uh, it looks very clean and functional. Ironically, removing the ivy not only exposed the most damage that needed to be repaired, but it also allowed it to return to its original look. Removing them also allowed us to clean the bridge and remove many layers of graffiti and paint that have been added. So what we get to see now is really a clean bridge with its original concrete surface showing, which is the way that Irving Gill intended it to be seen. A new name, a new look, a perfect fitting for the gateway to Torrance. I just want to say that bridges connect places, they connect people. And um, this is a historical structure, and I'm really glad to see it be rehabilitated and um, kind of bringing the community to get together. For This Week in Torrance, I'm Shannon Murphy. Thanks, Shannon. It took nearly a year and a half from conception to completion for the project. And as the 100th birthday of the bridge is celebrated, officials are confident uh, the work will be good for at least another 100 years. Well, that's going to do it for us on This Week in Torrance.